Um, I don't like the dark mode again, it's a personal preference. So we're just going to make this chart um, in the light mode, which you've come to see from the chart book. So uh, first off, to make this chart smaller, or to uh, use it so it's not populating the whole screen, you hit Control, Alt, and R, and this will just return it to its normal size. You can go in and you get all these chart, uh, these chart references in here, like Window, you'll get you'll Control, Alt, R is just to restore it to its normal size and maximize Control, Alt, X, something worth uh, either doing. And while we're on the subject, in here you've got the Control, Alt, D, Detach and Attach function. This is also under Chart, Attach and Detach. This is if you're using a computer with multiple monitors and you simply want to, at the moment we can't take this chart out of this, it just gets stuck, you can't remove it out of the chart book as you can see. But if you wanted to take it and move it onto another monitor, you can either use one of those functions or you can simply use the shortcut by clicking on the chart and hitting Control, Alt and D. And now as you can see, I can take the chart out of the chart book uh, totally. And just to put it back in, we simply Control, Alt, D again and we are back in the chart book. Nothing too exciting or complicated there. So, as you can see at the top of this chart, we have our title bar, this guy at the top here, which takes up a little bit of space. Um, there's no real use case for this title bar, it's totally personal preference. If you want to duplicate this chart, that's all. It has a little function up here that you won't have when you remove it, which is you click on this little window here and it gives you the option, which I'll show you where the option is also as well. But if you click on this, it gives you the option to um, duplicate the chart and so on, maximize, minimize also. But if we remove this title bar, which I'm going to do now, we go to chart, show title bar, remove title bar, we just click it off. It gives us more space when we're sticking our charts inside our chart book nice and tidy. But if you want to get that same function, you can simply come down to the bottom down here and you can click, uh, sorry, you can right click on this and it brings up that exact same window. So nothing, nothing really missed uh, by removing that title bar. Other than maybe a little bit uh, more difficult to move, but actually once you click on this white bit at the top here, you can move it the exact same way. Nothing too uh, complicated there either. Um, just noting that all your adjustments come from the opposite ends to, the, to this guy and that you can't... Um, you can't, uh, so say if we, we, we bring this guy down to the bottom here, grab it from the top, bring it to the bottom here, we can't adjust it from the top to get it to, to come up and so on and so forth. So just, uh, you'll, you'll play around with it anyways. So back to our programming. So let's see, to change this into a light mode, we'll just make it bigger again for now. Control Alt X, um, we'll change around a couple of the settings. So you can change the global settings, that would mean that if you had uh, several charts open in this chart book and you wanted to change all the graphics all together, you just go to global settings and graphic settings global, that would mean you'll change all the settings on all the charts. But for this example, we are going to go into the chart and we're just going to change the chart settings or the graphic settings for the chart on an individual level. And we just simply go through that process now. So first off, chart text, because I'm going to be changing this into a light mode, this white text that we see is not going to be visible. So I'm going to change this first into black, and that's going to change that to black. Then we're going to go to chart background, and the chart background I like to choose is this gray color, this light gray color. Okay, and then because we're going to have a light background, I just hit apply there, you'll see what, we, what I mean. Oh, did I change that? Chart background, perfect. Oh, we, first of all, before I forget also, just to see this, if we uncheck this box here, that's going to allow us. This is if we have all our global settings set. If we uncheck this box, then it will allow us to check or, or, or to um, create our chart settings based on an individual chart basis. So now when we hit apply, there we go. Um, it will change it to the settings we have selected. So given those and given that these red and green bars are kind of electric or vi very vibrant looking, plus I don't like the red and green, I, I find it can trigger an emotional response. I prefer the kind of neutral colors of the black and white. Um, when I'm trading, it takes that away, but everybody's different, of course, and it doesn't really matter. So we're just gonna change these colors into black and white. So where did I, did I skip over already? Here we go. So just go through these. You can change any of the settings and any of the colors in here as you wish, but for this purpose, we're just gonna get into what we're covering. So candlestick up outline we just want to change this to black candlestick up fill we're going to change this to white okay candlestick down we're going to change to black and candlestick fill we're going to change to black and bada bing bada boom we now have our 
beautiful black and white candles on our chart book and on our chart I mean so given that we've done that we now have our lovely 10 tick chart we just control alt or return it to its normal size and let's kind of squeeze it up so it's nice and, and, and visually uh, again visually appealing to your own personal perspective so I like it around this this scale and this size um, and this will be very useful and you can just create any chart so next we're going to do is going to create a five tick chart from this chart and as previously mentioned I'm just going to go down to just in case you didn't see it from the previous mention down to this uh, little window down here and I'm going to click on it Ooh, just take off my pin I'm going to click on it uh, with my right side of the mouse and I'm going to duplicate the chart now we have duplicated this chart and simply drag up the bottom first so we make it fit to do and then drag it down to fit below there we go five tick range bar so to change this into a five tick range bar all our settings are already set from previous simply click on the chart press f5 just come in change our range to five Click on our advanced settings too and change our ES to a ES our ES 10 tick to an ES 5 tick. Leave a space, apply, bada bing, bada boom. We now have our 5 tick range bar chart. And just to get into it, so this is our ES 10 tick or two and a half point range bar, and this is chart number one. Remember where this chart number is. This chart number is relevant to several things in the future. We'll get into it at that moment as well when we get there. And here we have our five tick or our one and a half point range bar chart and our chart number two. So these are the first two charts in the chart book, ready to rock and roll.